Welcome to Throwback Thursday, where I play a game that I've already reviewed in the past, and this week I'm going to be starting a little uh, run of Resident Evil 2, similar to last year how I did uh, Resident Evil the original throughout the month of October. I decided to do the Claire uh, campaign because it is canon with the A scenario, and a bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of an I'll American the suburb play. called Raccoon City. It was later revealed that the terrible disaster had been caused by the T virus a mutagenic toxin created by the international enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon experiments. The Raccoon City Police Department's Special Stars Unit immediately began investigation in the affair. The case was apparently closed thanks to the efforts of Stars members Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments so yeah, I'm gonna um, <clears throat> and I'm only gonna play the A scenario because I don't want to go beyond the necessary amount of videos it's gonna take, the amount of episodes it's gonna take to uh, complete it. I don't want to to drag on for too long. Uh, the A campaign, the A A mode and B mode are essentially about as long as a full game. replacement for Elsa Walker Claire Redfield I thought they made the right call by scrapping what they were originally going to have which was Resident Evil it became later known as Resident Evil 1.5 Why did he bite me He's very calm this guy right here for after getting uh bit on the arm and bleeding very very profusely Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. It's quite the assumption to make. <clears throat> Considering, you know, the whole city is fucked. I know they don't know what to to what extent, but okay. to make that promise, you know, it's gonna be safer at the police station for sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. What's going on? I arrived in town and the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Thank God for that gesture of goodwill because uh, if he hadn't lent me the gun, I'd be fucked. You okay? Still in one piece. to the 
station. I'll meet you there. Okay. <coughs> So, I don't know if there was a game that I had anticipated as much as I did this one. Because mainly, uh, well, first off, I was, um, I loved Resident Evil 1. I was like, uh, for a while, it was my go-to game. Definitely my favorite PS1 game at the, at the time that I got and it blew everything else out of the water. <clears throat> Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Don't shoot! I'm a human! Ooh. Sorry about that, babe. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? Hold on. I ain't got no clue, darling. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with zombies. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I was a uh, huge fan of the first game. And the huge, the, the, the year-long delay that ended up coming about for Resident Evil 2, mainly because of the scrapped... Basically, they scrapped the game about well more than halfway into it. I thought there was another round back here. I'm not getting that... Uh, I think it's a crossbow or a bolt gun that you get from the zombies. I'd like to conserve some ammo here. I know I'm building up a pretty good amount here, but oh, a little close to my liking. Uh, I don't like this angle. I don't like how I can't see. If there's anybody in front of me. If I'm. I know there's at least. I know there's three of these guys. I'm pretty sure there's three of them. Yeah. Oh, shit. Come on. You fuck. Alright, I'm just gonna go around those assholes. Oh, did I miss some bullets over there? <clears throat> On that barrel? Kind of afraid to go back in there just because I don't know where these zombies are gonna respawn. Alright, nah. There wasn't anything over here. <clears throat> there either and then I played the hell out of the demo too uh, because director's cut edition which wasn't as much of a director's cut as, as I was really hoping for wait I thought there was something in here yeah there is okay I knew that some of these barrels had Tight spaces, uh, tightish spaces, tightish spaces in uh, here in the early going. All right, yeah, all set with that. So 
So yeah, I'm only gonna do the A mode because ah shit. Yeah, I don't want to take too long with it, and you know. There, you, you essentially get to the end, you just only see one half of the perspective, so... It's good enough. It's not like a, it, it, you get to a halfway point of a finished game. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck! No. Alright, one bite, not too bad. Well, I picked Claire because uh, her, her scenario in the A mode is what's technically canon of the overall story. I was I kind of juggled back and forth on which one I was gonna play as Leona Claire. I think that when I first played the game, I was Claire, and I ended up kind of juggling back and forth between the two after that like I would I had two games running at once and then I just kind of stuck with Leon's I think just because I was getting I just happened to get progress earlier with him the only door I can go into. This is where I'm gonna meet, uh, my buddy Marvin. Hang in there. Are you the only officer left in the building? Uh, who are you? Claire. Claire Redfield. I'm looking for my brother Chris. We lost contact with him over ten days ago. Chris, Jill, Barry. Every last Stars team member has disappeared. We should have listened to them. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving these zombie-like creatures in a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other stars members discovered that umbrella was behind everything at the risk of their own lives but no one believed them are you okay don't worry about me just rescue the survivors in the other rooms here take this key card you should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But... Just go. Okay. Just hang in there. I'll be back soon. And then the son of a bitch... locks the door behind me. I mean... <clears throat> I kind of think that... I want to think that he's looking out for me because he knows he's going to turn. But he was still kind of being a dick. I liked how they uh, expanded on his character in the remake. You got to see a little bit more of him. Police memorandum. <clears throat> this letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the precinct's rearrangement. The safe with four-digit lock 
The safe with four digit lock has been moved from the star's office on the second floor to the eastern office on the first floor. Two, two, three, six. All right. Yeah, we'll get to that soon enough or later enough. Uh, da, 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 da. We don't need that. I gotta get used to, you know, it's like, I even though it's been a little while since I played any of these Resident Evils, um, oh yeah, I got the lock pick. Um, I always, I still kind of want to, oh yeah, that's right, these, the liquors are behind here. <clears throat> I always want to... Hit a uh, square to back up rather than triangle. Funny that that camera angle right there is only there when you first enter the room, and then after that, does it? Oh yeah, he does have bullets. Right, we got a shitload of ammo. where the liquor, the liquor is going to make its first appearance. Oh shit, yeah, I definitely need... No, I, I'm trying to shoot you, motherfucker. <clears throat> Interesting how they, you know, introduced the liquor so freaking early. They're kind of like the hunters of Resident Evil 2. And they just come out, you know, <clears throat> like the second room that you go into in the police station, more or less. More or less. have the lighter. <clears throat> That's one other disadvantage of, well, the weapons you get are different as Leon and Claire, um, and then, you know, Leon gets the lighter as a default item, Claire has the lockpick. File over here, yeah. Operation report. September 26th. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured, even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have con contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. Yeah, great move, Chief. I know that, you know... It's, it's for the convenience of having everything all over the place. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions. To unlock the weapon storage, as stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing, and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle, and the electric, the electronic locks are functioning are not functioning in certain areas. It has become a top priority to restore the power in the power room and secure those locks. David Ford, September 27th, 1 p.m. The west barricade has been broken through, and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation 
room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. David Ford. The additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as-of-yet unknown creature. The creature was identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. What does that remind you of? However, its most distinguishing ca characteristic is its lance-like tongue. Capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their numbers, uh, their, number, their numbers as well as their locations remain unknown. We have tentatively named this creature the Licker and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. Well, obviously, that didn't work. Oh yeah, lots of zombies in here. Oh god, so freaking many of you. Alright, get out of my way. Ah, fuck. Oh shit, they're gonna freaking just double up on me. Right, I'm... Get off of me. I'm going up the stairs. It's just gonna be too much of a double team, triple team. Constant attack. Jewels here. I don't know, like I can't uh can't do anything with it just yet and I'm I just bypassed you know the item box that I could have gone to to stash it away. I'm not all the way secure here. Gotta get it right on that spot. A little bit fucked up for a police station to have this shit. And the star's office. Alright, here we go. This is what I wanted. A higher power weapon to take out those pricks at the bottom of the stairs. There's a first aid kit in here. I thought there was a first aid kit over here. And not just because there was the, you know, medical uh, insignia over there. Alright, and then Chris's diary. <clears throat> August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th, we've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th, with the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to the case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella headquarters in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. I'll think about it. Yeah, there's 
something back here. Some more handgun bullets. Oops. Alright, get myself a new round. Where's that picture? There it is. Good old stars team. So one thing that is different, I had mentioned like the, the some of the differences between playing as Claire and uh, Leon. Getting effects. Mr. Chris Redfield, Raccoon City Police Department Stars Division. As per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation and discovered the following information. Number one, regarding the G-Virus currently under development by Umbrella Incorporated, so far it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We're continuing with our investigation. Number two, regarding Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department, Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds in bribes from Umbrella Incorporated over the last five years. He was apparently involved in the cover-up of the Mansion Lab case, along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons has been arrested under the suspicion of rape on two separate counts during his years as a university student. He underwent psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges, but was released due to circumstantial evidence as well as his phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when dealing with him. Jack Hamilton, Section Chief, Internal Investigations of the United States Police, uh, Federal Police Department. So, yeah, Irons is a bit of a kook. Um... You know, that stuff, that, if, if we hadn't already known, there's more evidence there to suggest that. Alright, spade, I need to get to the spade door. <clears throat> but I have the unicorn metal, that's huge. Kill those pricks with the grenade launcher if I have to, if, if they're not, when I get down the stairs, if they're not spread out, then yeah, I'll blast them with the grenade launcher. I don't really want to do that. Because, you know, I could use that shit for liquors and boss fights. And I have a butt ton of handgun ammo. But if I have to, I have to. I really don't want to lose health either. Ah, you sucker. I know you're not dead. Now you are. Is that it? It's just the three of you? Alright. Oh. Some herbages. Uh, should I combine them? I should combine them. I mean, I know that there's a... An item box right in here, but... It's good to have some consolidation. The herbs on their own are fairly weak. Ah, uh, yes, this is kick ass save music. Put that away for now. I'm definitely taking this. Ugh. I don't really want to dump the grenade launcher, but. I have a, a lot of I have a lot of bullets. I will keep that in mind for when I find some film. Now's a good time to get uh throw a save in. This was from when I played. Then yeah, I did the walkthrough. Uh, 
Making sure, yeah, this is all I need. We want to check something. I think that this is the. A, B, and C. Oh, this, does this have the auto-aim if I do this? Is that what that auto is all about? I need a key to get in here. Oh, gee, that's right. Change is the uh, to change the target that you're aiming at. Whoop. Right, nothing in there yet. Do need to get the lighter before I can start doing that. I think I am going to grab the grenade launcher because I want to say... I want to say that... When I go on the opposite wing, there's going to be a shit ton of zombies in there. And... Like in one spot. If I remember correctly. The diamond or oh, the spade? All right. I don't know, it's some kind of OCD thing. I gotta change it so it doesn't say precinct key. I want it to say spade. So I can get to the spade door in here. Might as well go in there. And then, I, yeah, then there's the spade door upstairs, too. I won't necessarily deal with the east side just yet. door upstairs. I want to say this is where after opening this door is when we're going to meet Sherry. I ran right by a fucking spade door, didn't I? I did. I went right by one. But I know this is the way to uh, like, you know, expand like that, that door leads to one room where you can get in a couple items, but this way leads to uh, you know, where the story progresses. Yeah, this is where Sherry is. Help me. All right, yeah. So I yeah, I, did, I did turn on the auto aim.
which is a little bit of a, I don't know. It's a shortcut, that's for sure. Leon. Claire, you made it. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. It sounds like the way he reacted, like, oh yeah, yeah, I just missed a little girl run by. Do you know her? Like, as if it wasn't a big deal, you know, that there was a survivor around. And, you know, you might think it'd be a good idea to protect the kids, but he just casually just let her run off. But it's not what happened. When you play the B mode, he, uh... Oh, uh, some flame rounds. Um... You know, he chased her, and she crawled down that gap in that door over there that I just ran up to, and it was essentially a dead end. Alright, down to the ground we go. we get this thing started. Alright, what was this again? I, I, don't, I don't think it's too much. I got on the first one, and it's two, then one, then two. This one and then the one right next to it. I knew it was a very quick fix. Oh yeah, the serpent stones. Well, one of them is a serpent stone. Is an eagle stone a serpent stone? And this is the, this was the serpent. All right. All right. Before I go to the second floor. I could go up to the third, but there's not going to be anything for me up there yet. Um, oh, yeah, you know what? No, I'm going to go this way, because then I can open up that ladder. There I am. Yep, I knew there was zombies. Let me just uh, give myself some distance. As much as it is a shortcut to use the auto-aim, it's like, at the same time, the... Like, this, for example, right here... ...is not a very good angle to aim with. So it's good to have a little bit of assistance. Ah, he's not done yet. But it's nice to, to uh, create this little shortcut. God, how close is he? Fuck! See, like that, for example. Like, I should be able to see what's directly in front of me because of the camera angles I wasn't. So, you take the good with the bad in terms of, uh, you know, you take the advantages that the auto-aim has for you. Alright, so now I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna go through the spade door that I bypassed earlier. And then... I think that's it for the spade doors, but I do have that other whole side of the station I haven't gone into yet. Whoops, I keep hitting select. Alright, you know what? I am at a 
freaking item box here. Let's stash away the serpent stone. I'm not gonna need that for a little while. I know I'm going in the flame rounds. And as soon as I unlock this door, I'm pretty sure that this is it for the spade doors, so that key will go away. Free up another uh, space. Yep. I remember the first time I played Resident Evil 1, the armor key was the first one that became useless. Um, and I was given the option to discard, and I, for some reason, I was like, I think they're trying to play a trick on me, and I kept it, and I hung on to it for the rest of the game. So anyway, patrol report. September 20th, 9.30 p.m., Sergeant Neil Carlson. We received a report of a suspicious individual skulking around the sewers in the outskirts of Raccoon City. Yeah, I'd say that's a little suspicious. I searched the area and located the individual, but he ran away before I was able to question him. I recovered the following items. A small amount of C4 plastic explosive, an electronic detonator, a 9x19 parabellum rounds, infrared scope, which is broken. Yeah, he carried some pretty heavy uh, duty uh, equipment with him. I get something from up here. What the hell is it again? Crank? No. Um. Oh, it is the crank. Okay, yeah, so this is for when I go up to the third floor later on. I can get to that attic area. Alright, I'm done with this uh, side for the most part. stash away a couple things. I, whoops. Uh, first, let's combine all that. Let's get the crank put away. Is there anything that I want to take out? No, I don't think so. Alright, moving on. To the east side. Literally, we're moving on. Moving to the east side of the station. I did not intend on uh, throwing that Jefferson's uh, reference out there. I kind of want to do the upstairs, but I'm going to do down here first. There's more behind these guys. One more. Nope. A few more. Damn you guys. How am I doing on ammo? Still plenty. Oh shit. Well, let's finish you off first. Alright. Oh shit! Why did I test it? That was that was a nice little jump scare, though. It was uh, it did catch me, which is the thing about. I know this is considered to be uh, by a lot of people to be the goat of the franchise, but there there is something about. It is an improvement over the first game. I certainly like it more than three. I think three is a little short. Oh, shit. Thought they were up a little bit further. Um, 
but there's just something about the uh, the experience of the first game that uh, I cannot duplicate with two. Um, and it was because it was fresh, it was new, and I, you know, I didn't really, I couldn't really wrap my finger around it, or wrap my brain around it, or put my finger on it. I gotta get a pro proverb book or something, this mix and match shit's gotta go. You're getting up, aren't you? There's no way all three of you did. Yeah, I guess so. I think this is locked. Yep. And this is a club key. So, the thing about the first game... ...is... The tank controls took some, you know, a little bit of getting used to, as they, I'm sure they were for everybody. And I think because of that, I didn't. For, it took it took a little while for me to like really get confident in confronting a lot of the enemies, even the zombies early on. Like, I just needed to get the hang of it, and then... So I felt very vulnerable in the early part of the game, the early, early part of the game. It, it took some getting used to the controls, and it took some... It took a while for me to get through the game. So I was able to savor it, whereas when I played Resident Evil 2 for the first time, even if it was a much bigger game, the, they improved a lot of the gameplay, they improved the voice acting for sure. Uh, it just didn't have that same... Because I was, you know, it, it, I was uh, more or less, oh shit. Alright, let's get this guy out here for this one. They're just too close. Ah, oh, fuck. I wasted a goddamn shot. Alright, now I think that I can... Yeah, there I can, I can get away with going back to the handgun here. Let's get myself some extra ammo. That ceiling fan sounds like there's somebody else in here. I know you're still alive. That's the one thing about this aim I wish they had changed was... It's letting me know that this guy's alive because I'm aiming at him. Like, it should only be aiming at actively pursuing zombies. If they're dead, quote-unquote, playing dead, anything... You gonna get up, asshole? Or is that a whole nother zombie? I know this guy's alive. Come on, look at him. I've been ankle bitten way too often. I've been giving them. I gave them way too much leeway. All right, come on out. Come on out. There we go. That's it. That's it. I'm gonna shut up. Oh, shit. I didn't think he was that close. I was, like... I was preparing to... Or am I needing some, uh... Eh. You know, I guess I'll use the regular herb. Take a space off. Oh, was it 2236? Yep. Nice. And the map. Nice. Nice to find two items in the same sp exact spot, and then back here there's some ammo. I know there's something. I'm pretty sure it's ammo. There it is. Nope, it's an herb. So there's the heart door over here. That one and only heart door. And then this guy's got some ammo. Now is it locked? Is the is the second floor door locked from the inside or the outside? I want to say that I um 
that I unlock it from the inside. Yep. And I do, you know what? Let's do a little consolidating. I'll do another, you know, bit, a little bit of consolidating if I need the space between now and when I get to the item box. I don't think that I will because it's going to be, when I go upstairs, it's going to be the first door I walk into. Aside from that whole, the experience of the game, of Resident Evil 1, the OG being, you know, nothing like it, um, and I do have a soft spot for it, in general, I do enjoy the terrible voice acting. Yeah, there is nostalgia factor, but I get nostalgic for this game too, almost as much, you know, it's... I don't feel the same way about three, you know? I don't feel... Like, oh, yeah, all right. There we go. We'll do the consolidation. I like three. Don't get me wrong. But I just don't get that same... I don't know. The it factor, I guess. I won't, don't think I need this quite yet. I'll stash the acid rounds for a boss fight. Uh, should I carry two health items around? I don't think I will. Should I save? Yeah, sure. I'm not going for, you know, a world record of time slash uh, you know, number of saves or whatever. All right, Secretary's Diary. April 6th, I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I learned again, when I leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off, screaming at me never to touch the statue again. If it's so important, then maybe you shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. April 7th, I heard that I heard that all the art pieces from the Chief's collection are rare items, liter literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the bigger mystery, where he finds the, those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. May 10th, I wasn't surprised to see the Chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. I was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at that painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. I don't know. I kind of get it. It's it's a cool image. Uh, it's yeah, it's disturbing and all that. And but I don't know. I mean, I'm not. Uh, someone that gets overly fascinated with death or anything like that, but, you know, if it's a, if it's, if it's a piece of art, you know, I'm not gonna look at it weird, oh, shit, like a painting, you know, like a, but if, if it's a lie, if it's an actual photograph or something like that, then, uh, a little different. But I certainly don't get offended by shit. Really? That's all you, the hell it took to kill you, you little fuck? Alright, so I need to put out- Oh, God! I need to remember that there was a zombie over there. But you know what? I, I, like I said, you know, I played this game a lot. 
but every now and again, forget about shit like that, and then it reminds me of the time when I played these games for the first time, and was shocked that certain parts of the game like that where they get jump scared or something would, sh would come out and surprise attack you. Shit like that. Alright, so I'll unlock this. Do I need to even... Oh shit, here come the birds. Alright, just... Uh, I don't think I need to... Alright, just give me the freaking thing. Alright. Yeah, I already knew there were birds in here. They see, like, they shouldn't even have... If they wanted to surprise me with the crows, they shouldn't even have had any in here already to begin with. That wasn't nearly, like, you know, as iconic as the dog. Right, I need the valve handle for that. And I only brought the one health item, too. Like I said, I didn't need... I, I, I'll refrain from using the health until, uh, you know, it gets to be a little hairy. that much closer. It's hard to really tell. My depth perception at uh, that angle isn't so good. Well, now nah, I'm a lot closer than I want to be. Give me a little bit of space. You're not dead yet. Now you're done. Alright, so there. This is where the valve handle is. This is where I'll be able to uh, put out that fucking fire. Take the ink ribbon, why not? I'm not gonna open that door over there, uh, in case you don't know. It just brings in zombies and that's it. I don't go beyond that space. I think when I when I mo recently played this game, when I did the uh, walkthrough, I somehow forgot to go in here and pick up the ammo. Like I put out that fire. I know that it's mainly there to unlock the area back here. But... Still, I remember just going back there for whatever reason, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I was just kind of combing the area, and I was like, why did I not have, uh, you know, no, you know what it was? I, I never got footage of grabbing the ammo from there, so I, I, don't, I don't think it included, all right, so yeah, I need to detonate this. That was a blood-curdling scream. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, I need the jewels to get in here. 
Now, I have the lighter, so you know what? I need to go back. <clears throat> I'm go back to that painting. The one that I was talking about, the, the, the one the chief had with the... Hanging, hanging person. Let's get the lighter. Actually, let's combine all the ink ribbons. Uh, I don't need the valve handle for a while. And I'll put away the bow, at least for now. You know what? I'm gonna grab another health item because I am in caution at the moment. And after like another... Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Just use one of these babies. Alright. Now I'll go back to just carrying the one set of mixed herbs. Not necessarily taking them the absolute most optimal paths, but... Uh, wait a minute. Quicker through here? No, I can't go in there yet. I think I'll get the diamond key from this next puzzle. That admin can be happy with the fact that that painting is no longer... Oh wait, that's... Yeah, that, all right, so that is the same one. I'm just saying, I, I, they were, they're being hanged by their wrist. It's not even as bad as it looks. I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're getting, maybe they're being hanged by the throat and by the wrists, you know, just for good measure. So yeah, I'll use the, the jewels. I'll be able to get into the back door to where Marvin is. I was thinking, like, oh, maybe I go up to the third floor and use the crank, but, uh, you know, it's really just to get the stairs down and then that'd be the end of it. Um, second floor, second floor. That is a wrong turn. This way, Claire, come on.
Oh yeah, and then I can also get... Oh, I just get the diamond key straight away. This... Gives me one of the stones. So, or at least the piece of the stone. So, yeah, two very key items in the same exact room. And yeah, it doesn't, in the B mode, that's when the liquor comes down from the ceiling through the uh, skylight. Gotta get the detonator to get through that door. Alright, so, uh, diamond. I think there's one below me. Yeah, that... Both of those are... It's mainly the... Alright, you, know, you know what? I'm gonna do both. Let's... Let's go downstairs to the first one. I think I get one of the stones in there. And then I'll swing around to the other side and take care of the other diamond door. The only thing, too, about the first game that I did like... Uh, that I did like was how there are multiple endings, depending on certain paths you t took or decisions you made. Certain characters live, certain characters die. There are other, there are certain cutscenes you won't see unless you go through certain paths. So I went through, you know, the game quite a bit, quite a few times before I, before Resident Evil 2 came out. And I also didn't know that there were multiple endings when I first finished the game. I, I was playing, I, I first finished the game as Jill and Barry had died. He died in the courtyard. Oh, the underground part of the courtyard. And I was like, damn, I guess that's Barry's fate. And I thought that he was, you know, double-crossing me the whole time. I mean, he kind of was without me wanting to. Or right, this isn't where I wanted to go. This is where... Do I have it? Uh, an herb? I don't. Okay. Oh, I meant to put away... And I also meant to... freaking check the diamond key so that it doesn't say the precinct key. Yes, yes, okay, great. Oh no, but did I fuck this up? Alright, I'm gonna leave this here for now. Because I do want to get... The Eagle Stone. Yep, yeah, oh shit, there it was. I, you know, I wasn't sure if it was the A mode or the B mode that he comes out. Ugh, alright, well, I do want to get that cord, too. Just not right this very second. We'll come back for that. Because I do want to get it, and, uh... It's not necessary, you don't have to use that cord. But if you want to prevent the zombies from, uh... Filling up two different rooms, you use the cord on one of them. I will go back and kill that liquor... Next time I'm in the area. Alright, so now the other diamond door is on the... Opposite side of this. I got too much shit on me here. Let's put away some of it. Alright, so I've got two and a half stones over here. I don't need the lighter for a while. You know what? Let's do this. Let's let's go kill that liquor. Just so I don't have to go back again another time. I know I'm like kind of going out of the way a little bit, but... doing? Oh, this side. I was about to go to the second floor. I'm like, wait a minute. If I go to the second floor, where in the hell am I going? It's on this side. I 
don't really know, though, how effective this fucker is with the liquors. In comparison to the... Alright, you know what? Let's not even kill him. Let's not even kill him. Even better, he just chilled over there. Alright, I'll stash this gun. Or maybe I'll hang on to it. Alright, so now to the diamond door on the opposite side. And I'm gonna use this cord on my way over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna board up the doors. The windows on the uh on this side because I'm gonna be passing through here more often. I always tend to to, to use the cord over here. Am I gonna need to stash anything? I'm gonna the the, the key and the cord are gonna be gone in a minute, so I don't need to put away the gun yet, necessarily. Alright. Mission accomplished there. at least one of these. What kind of a design for a police station is this? <laughs> for real. Alright. I thought that one's gone. I think there's zombies in here. So, probably was a good idea to bring the bow. Yep. bomb. That's part of the equation. You need a detonator, yep. Whoa, shit! There's two of you fucks in here. Alright, let me just back up some. Alright, this is a good spot. Nope. I won't be able to see these fucks. What's my bullet situation? Oh, I need more. I, I always like to reload with the animation. Come on, you dumbasses. Can't tell how close you are. Oh, I... You're on one off. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. your fucking head across the room. And the film. Yeah, we'll take a look at that. There's always, like, interesting pictures that people take. Is there a file over here? No. Take the. I'll just use the herb here. Hey, Marvin, you're not a you're not a zombie yet. Oh, but you are now. Oh, shit. I'm 
music hasn't stopped yet, so I know you're not dead. Alright, now we got the bomb, we got the detonator. Leon over here. To Leon S. Kennedy, congratulations on your assignment to the Raccoon City Police Department. We all look forward to having you as part of our team and promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard from all the guys. Aww. There's something in the locker, but I want to check the perimeter a little bit. All right, we've come full circle. I blow that thing up I am going to uh, grab the crank and uh, at least cover the ground over there because it's not the same situation as it is when you're playing as Leon where you don't go through the uh... oh you know what though I don't have the gear Yeah, you know what? But fuck that. I could have st stashed the film, though. I'm gonna pass a, an item box on my way over there, though. So, you know what? I'll just remember to do that then. For now. I mean, I only got three arrows left. I'm gonna be using that up. Oh, you know what? Let's get I didn't grip it out. Save this beast. Grab some health. I, ha I am in caution. So let's put an end to that with this. I am in yellow caution, so I'm back to fine. I don't think I need that grenade launcher, but I'm taking it anyway. Yeah, well, you know, I was carrying the handgun, the grenade launcher, and the bow. All at the same time. I did not need all that freaking weaponry. What are you talking about? Bluey. Various trophies and this dead chick. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. 
you'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her, but I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. A little creepy. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain or by decapitating her completely. think that taxidermy used to be my hobby but no longer please I'd really like to be alone now I'm not leaving you alone with the corpse you fucking freak Wait, let me go! Easy, easy there, I'm not a zombie! You're safe now. <laughs> Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right, but it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was that? That's what I was telling you about. It's here. Sherry, wait. All right, we, uh, we're all set with you. Just we'll let you run off. All right, Secretary's Diary 2. As I was straightening up the Chief's room, he burst through the door like the Kool-Aid man with a furious look on his face. It's only been two months since I've started working here, but that's the second time I've seen him like this. The last time when I last time was when I bumped into that statue, only this time he looked even more agitated than ever. I seriously thought for a moment that he was going to hurt me. June 15th, I finally discovered what the Chief has been hiding all along. If he finds out that I know, my life will be in serious danger. It's getting late already. I'm just going to have to take this one day at a time. And then no more entries. All right. Well, I'm going to call it an episode for here. For, for, from he, Adam, I'm stopping. Jesus Christ. I'm going to call it an episode right now. So... That's it for episode one of this uh, run of Resident Evil 2. Thanks for watching, if you've watched up to this point, and I will see you next time.